It don't even matter if today was the worst day. Just remember what your kin say that we breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, and we breathe in, just breathe to out. Breathe it don't matter what you do, who you see, who yeah. you screw. Cause we breathe in, just breathe to in, breathe out, and we breathe, out. breathe in, just to breathe yeah. out. I wish every day was a different day. I mean, I wish everybody had acted differently. I'm turned off from listening to bullshit, off in the pulpit on this unit. I came back from Atlanta on the phone screaming, who's this? Nobody brought this to the point that I had, but I'm feeling real good and I'm happy. I ain't overly sad. I can say that. Don't you feel me? I ain't overly sad. I said there's no time for shit, man. I ain't overly sad. Hey, I know you heard it because I said it with purpose and you know that I know you feel so good. I know that it's worth it to be the smoothest I can be. Although you've heard it before, I know you can't. Not ignore the feeling I'm fit from three. I just want to slow things down for a minute. Make it all feel real good when I'm in it. Uh, ain't really anything that's tripping me up. I said it enough. You want a tip, I flip you a buck. It don't even matter if today was the worst day. Just remember what you can say. That we breathe in just to breathe out. And we breathe in just to breathe out. And it don't matter what you do. Who you'll see, who you'll screw. everybody so <clears throat> it's me again we're by the river again it's actually the uh, same river only this time we have some actual like good freaking fruit it's just straight up pineapple so yeah <laughs> I actually wanted to make this video for somebody who has been watching my channel for I she has been one of my longest time supporters on my YouTube channel um, and has just been like such a chill friend of mine that I've been able to just talk to once in a while. Um, I think she's okay with me saying her name. She comments on my YouTube like all my YouTube videos. Um, but it's, her name is Vaughn. And she's so gorgeous. And, uh, she sent me a message just talking about she had a question just like how does one get old like it was like a voice not message you can take like a little screenshot of like the message itself but um she was basically asking how to get yourself out of a rut how do I get myself out of a rut and like you know if you're feeling like super depressed or like super lonely like how do you how do I she was asking how I get out of it so I'm going to talk about a little bit while we show them the river. I hope y'all can't hear me chewing. It's like super, <laughs> this pineapple is super juicy. And so it's like, I'm kind of self-conscious about what you can hear because I can hear myself chewing. I want to know the story behind this. I want to know the tree that was there. I want to know the, I don't know, I just want to know the whole story. Y'all ever like to think about that? When it comes to this, I feel like that might have been, that to have been an extremely old tree, right? Because it's like, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but it's messed. I feel like this is such a, perfect example of part of what I do 
whenever I'm feeling like super down or even super lonely is I'll go to nature sometimes. I usually like to do it to be by water because I like to you know, <laughs> One thing um, I always will take note of is, and this is totally not planned, like I promise you it's not planned, but recently I've been connecting to my ancestors because they've been making their presence a lot more known. And the si their sign to me always has been hearts, it has recently been hearts, making heart shaped things appear. I, mean, I don't even know if y'all care, but anyways, <laughs> what I was going to say is I like to be by like the river with rocks preferably because I will like to, if I'm like upset or like needing to like get myself into the process of forgiving somebody or just coming to terms or something whatever the case may be um, I will just like drain like that bad feeling that I have into a rock and then like, I'll just like meditate on it for however long you know it ranges from like five seconds to five minutes right it really depends on how hard i'm feeling that emotion that i'm trying to drain into the rock and then afterwards i like to just toss it into the river toss it into a place you're never going to see that rock again because there's just i mean in this case you saw in the montage uh, there's just a bunch of rocks here right and you're tossing your worries, you're tossing your concern into like a little nugget of a rock into a body of water. It's just like a whole nother life existing out there. It really helps put things in perspective. You just put your feelings out there and then allow it to exist, but it's existing in a rock. And I, like whenever I'm draining like my feelings <laughs> into that rock. I am experiencing that emotion fully. So if I'm upset with somebody, I will have the conversation and lash out at that person or just like have my thoughts that I feel justified in having in like in that rock. Like so I'm experiencing my emotions in that time. But while I'm experiencing it, I'm imagining that energy, that weight, that yuckiness, like going through my arm and into a rock and once it's in the rock I'm moving on from it it's now no, no longer mine I don't know if we can record it. <laughs> I think one thing I do want to point out is that I am a, I own it, I've said it several times. I like to think of myself as an extremely optimistic kind of person. I'm an optimist, I'm a realist, but I'm an optimist. So that means, you know, I see the situation for what it is. And I make the choice, like, and you have two options, right? You have the option of stressing out about something and what it means and just focusing on it and really doing nothing but, like, giving you anxiety and just stressing you out because you're thinking about worst-case scenario. Or you have the other way where you're being, op like, <laughs> you're being optimistic, where you're being positive, where you are like, okay, this is a situation, but... I can work through it, you know, whatever the situation may be. If you're going through a breakup, then it's just like, okay, that sucks. I liked being with this person. I liked being with somebody. But I'll be able to find someone else. I'll find someone new. I'll find someone's better match for me, you know? You can make that choice. It's like a choice. You have to... I wasn't always this much of an optimist obviously right i've kind of opened up about having suicidal ideations 
before in the past. <laughs> Can't be too much of an optimist if you're thinking about that, right? But, um, it's a uh, It's a choice that you have to make every single day waking up to be happy. And I don't know if it's the same for everybody else, but maybe it's just me and that there's not a single day that I wake up and I just am naturally happy. I have a lot that I can be stressed about, I can be sad about, I can be hurt about. And then some of it seeps through. Some days have better days, some days worse days. But every day I still make the conscious decision of being like, on some level, being like, okay. Not right here. here. <laughs> Can't change that fact. What can we do today? What sounds good today? What can, what will make you happy? That one, you know, I always ask myself, like, I do one thing for myself every single day that'll just make me happy. Sometimes it's like, most of the time, it's just like going out and existing outside. It's just that simple. I enjoy, no matter where it is, I enjoy being outside. And that's ha- good enough for me. But, you know, I spent so much of my life not ever considering my own feelings because I was so codependent. I was wanting to please everybody else, and I still do. Um, but because I can manage things, like, I, if something inconveniences me, or even hurts, or whatever, I can take it, right? I can suck it up. I can deal with it. So, I would rather, because I care about somebody, I would rather suck it up so they're not inconvenienced, because I can deal with it. So, nowadays, I realize that pattern, and I'm like, okay, well, what do I want to do? What do, what sounds good to me? In some days, what sounds good to me is going out to the river by myself, and I'll feel alone during that time, but I'll, I'll be content during it because I can find appreciation in little things where it's like, where, again, put myself first will, will make me happy. I'll change spots from where I'm sitting ranging from every five minutes to maybe every 50 minutes I don't have to worry about the person that I'm with and being like oh am I moving around too much because I'm just doing this for me it doesn't matter what's going on for the like you know this is I'm by myself and so it's a it's a layered process and you have to find the magic and little things in life and the finding the magic and little things in life is on one of the tarot cards that I've had for a decade now and it's I've really taken that to heart where it's like the small things being able to just appreciate the fact that I can make the choice to be like you know what I don't have to just sit here if I don't want to anymore after five minutes if it doesn't sound nice anymore I can just get up stopping me and to wrap this up because I don't want this video to be too long on top of waking up every single day and trying to make a choice of being happy and being optimistic because it still takes effort to be optimistic like It's easier to be a pessimist. It's a lot harder to be an optimist and to have faith in things. And spirituality to me has always been more of a way of life for me. I don't exist not in a state of being spiritual on some level. And it's part of the reason why I try to normalize just being normal while in your spiritual practices instead of having a facade because to me, spirituality is everything. One of the things that spirituality has taught me and having metaphysical practices, occult practices, is to have faith in things. 
and have faith in something is to be able to believe in it even if you can't prove it, even if you can't touch it, even if you can't see it with your physical eyes, you have faith in it. And so, since I have faith in God, since I have faith in the spirit guides that I connect to, the demons that I connect to, the archangels I connect to, everything that I connect to, since I can believe in these things, since I can have faith in these things, for many reasons, even before I could astral project, I learned to have faith in them. On these things that are just energetic beings, these things, these beings that people would just call me crazy for, even now, since I could have faith in those things. I realized how easy it is to have faith in myself because I can see myself. I can look at myself in the mirror. I may not have the greatest opinions of myself all the time when I see that reflection, but, you know, I, I think I can manage. And so, if I can have faith in these beings that I can't prove, can't see, I can have faith in myself and being like, okay, I can get myself out of this situation. I can find someone new that will love me. I can get myself in a place of where I am financially secure. I can be in an environment of where I say I'm truly happy. You know, just examples. Whatever your issue is, whatever your woe is, you have faith in that. You have faith that you can figure it out. And that's all I do. <laughs> My actions, they may seem reckless. And they are. They stress me out. But I still am able to commit to them because I have faith in myself. If I didn't have faith in myself, I wouldn't do all the crazy things that I've been doing with my life for the past two years. And... I don't know. I... Really, I Maybe I went on a tangent, but, uh... I kind of hope this video is helpful to you, Vaughn. I enjoy you guys hanging out with me. <laughs> you know what? I have an idea. I don't have a Blackberry to close off, close off this video, but... Since you guys, some of you guys, a lot of you guys actually, because a lot of you guys have told me that you wish you could be where I am at so you could see like nature and all of its glory that I have. <laughs> um, instead of having like the lapis trick that I did before. And a lot of you surprisingly said lapis. But uh, I can close this off by giving y'all this rock, sharing this rock. You can close your eyes, focus on this rock. After, well, well we didn't think this through because it's spare of the moment. That's all y'all know, I'm not scripted. <laughs> no, um, focus on this rock. Try to see if you can have the image of this rock in your mind. And close your eyes. And release all your woes into this rock. And I'll join you. And then afterwards, I'll throw this rock. And then whatever woe you decided to drain into this rock, you don't have to tell me. If you want to tell me, I'd love to be free to tell me because I'm nosy. But uh, after I throw this rock, you make that agreement that we're going to work on that well. We're going to work on having a more optimistic view on whatever category of life it is because I know you can work it out. You can figure it out. We all have figured it out so far, right? So.
you haven't heard it today, I see you, I hear you, and I love you so much. And Vaughn, I love you. I really do hate this book.